The arrival of the Florida State Seminoles before a sellout crowd in Tallahassee. And the number one team in the nation will oppose it. The Oklahoma Sooners. You're watching the ACC on ESPN from Tallahassee. It's one of the grand openings of a night game for Florida State. Osceola aboard Renegade. Game on. 80,000 on hand. Trey Franks and Brennan Clay will be back deep to return to kickoff for the number one team in the land. Now Clay squirts for the first down out to the 39 yard line and Haber in the center and that veteran offensive line will protect Landry Jones who's all alone on this second down. Knowles can't get to him and he throws to Broyles for a first down at the 36 yard line. Knowles show man as you can see on your screen. See the corners buttoned up on the wide out second down. Straight ahead. Reaching for the end zone. Very, very close. That is a, certainly a first down, and Whaley almost stuck it in again. It's the fact that the middle of their defense, the tackles and the middle linebacker, are not holding up. Oklahoma has been able to dip in there. They've used the pass, yes, on the edges, but they've gone to the middle just like they do there. And Landry Jones sneaks it, I believe, across, but. Let's wait for the officials. There's the touchdown signal finally. He's number 35, and they have put him down as one of the two tights. E.J. Manuel comes back, fires, and the first pass is complete to the outside to Kenny Shaw, who has to step up with Burt Reed ailing with an injured ankle from the pistol formation. Second effort, he's got the first down close to midfield, and it was Nick O'Leary, his second catch of this game. Yeah, Robert, it's uh, tough when you play Navy. Herbie and I are talking, they can dominate the clock with that offense of theirs. Yeah, very tough to prepare for that offense. It's surprising to see him holding South Carolina so far to 24. On second down, Manuel keeps it a beautiful fake. Still going, makes a slick move to the outside. Takes a tackle. E.J. down the sideline, and he's out of bounds. A beautiful run by quarterback E.J. Manuel is in this package. They try to overload the left here on this third down and ten. And Manuel again has to run, and this time he's going to be sacked. There is a penalty flag thrown. Austin Hopkins is going to come in, and during pregame warmups, he was making them with room to spare from 55. This is a 53, a 53 yard attempt for Hopkins. He made a 55 yarder to beat Clemson last year. This one is up. Look at that height. He gets on that one, and he puts the Knowles on the board. And Jones is still perfect. Six of six. Make it seven of seven now as he gets stills on the right side again. And it's another first down. And they come again, trying to get to him. They got to him. He's hit. Diving interception. Finally, Stoops is able to get pressure on the quarterback. And it forces the turnover. And for the first time tonight, there's a grass stain on Landry Jones, number 12. This is a third down for the Knowles following an interception. They're down by four. DJ Manuel over the middle. He's got another first down. Diving to the 25 is Kenny Shaw, the sophomore from Orlando. He was the offensive coordinator when Nick Saban won a national championship at LSU. Manuel. Pockets clean. Got it. Touchdown. No incomplete. They wave it off. They wave it off and now. There's a penalty flag comes flying. They wave it off. Kenny Shaw was the receiver. Right. He is down. I think somebody on the other side. 
get a big ovation and now they're back on the field they're going after the penalty for E.J. Manuel who is back in the gun deflected intercepted picked off by Tom Ward the linebacker so the Sooners snuff the rally with an interception Ty Jones is set behind Pryor Pryor leads the way the fullback got the block on the edge there's Pryor leading the way and Jones does the rest holding offense oh, another penalty Chris Thompson is the fresh running back and he's jammed in the middle a defensive front did not yield and that cleaned it up for Tom Ward mixing up the looks causing some confusion for Jones and that big offensive line Dominic Whaley in as a running back they send him out as one of the receivers he's got stills doubled over the top help from the safety and it's incomplete still did he hang it? on yes, to sir. this yeah watch watch this effort I think he little double move he, he's able to get around Rhodes. watch the safety come over oh my Joiner comes goodness. over and he's able to just get underneath of Joiner, who is accelerating through him the way they hit the backfield Josh Heupel stayed with that running game and Xavier Rhodes big time corner and also Smith the linebacker it was 19 of 23 last season nails that one you might have guessed Sellers another great receiver who yeah. came out of here EJ keeping it run all the way design run cut back jumps over one of his teammates got a first down and is upended Daniel's 6'5, 245 pounds. It's going to be an end around. Give it back now. Manuel looking to throw, takes off, maintains his balance to the 50. Manuel is 8 of 13 for 60 yards. Intercepted. Threw it away in the middle of the field. Picked off by Harris. Harris in a foot race. Cut off on the angle, cuts back. And a brilliant return with that interception inside the five yard line and the Sooners are in business with that turnover. Whaley checks the sideline as does the quarterback. Toss play to him trying to get the edge on the left by Millard and there's a penalty flag. He's stopped by Vince Williams from Jimmy Stevens. Again for the left hash. And again, he nails it. Always very, very important to start off the second half with some momentum, and Florida State just got it. And, and they just lost whoa, it. Whoa, Lonnie <laughs> Pryor is cut off. Walker. EJ snaps it off to the side, but not much doing. That's Jared Haggins. Yep. Pressure. Sack. Took down by Bjorn. Warner, the incredible quickness to overwhelm the Sooners up front. Tressway gets it off, and Reed is back again. Let's it go, and it's a beautiful punt. E.J. Manuel's in trouble. Drops it off beautifully under pressure back there by the two-yard line. Datko and Fakaru, but it looks like E.J. Manuel's hurt. That's what we, we just talked about, how you're going to run with him, and, and that's a great play, and against Oklahoma's defense, you make him be aware of it. Opens up the passing game, but Lewis, Travis Lewis will come from the left, hits him right there on the left side, and he's kind of been holding the left side, and it might have been really when he came down. Absolutely. Trying to run the football, these first two carries kind of getting a little bit more aggressive and asserting themselves. This time, sets himself, throws to double coverage, intercepted. Picked off at the 20-yard line by LaMarcus Joyner. Trickett gets time. Haggins again. A brilliant catch by Jared. Christian Green checks in as one of the Knowles receivers. He's a redshirt freshman. Gonna get hit on the delivery. Got it from the blind side from Tony Jefferson. So finally, Brent Venables dials up pressure on the backup, and they got there. A 46-yarder. High snap. 
Now it curls. And he's got another one. With a backup quarterback, Clint Trickett. Thompson's his running back. Play action. They're going to throw him again on first down. Complete to the 30-yard line. Seeming he has four catches for 45, so some youngsters taking charge. Play action again. Trouble coming. Clearly out of bounds. Royals. Okay, he's in to return this punt. Sean Powell. Booms one. Royals catches it at the five-yard line, and he's surrounded. Out of bounds at about the nine. They're going to run Whaley. And he is stoned by Bradham. Reed awaits it. And because of where he was in the pressure, that's his poorest punt of the evening. Straight back on first down and swallowed at the 40-yard line for a loss on the play. And remember, they have a great weapon in the field goal kicker, but they need more than that here in the fourth quarter. Smacked. Too late developing, and Tom Ward, who's had a big night defensively, the middle linebacker for the Sooners, roars in on it. Yep. On the third and a bunch, Trickett goes deep. Great grab! Breaking free, 15, 10, green, touchdown. How about the freshman from Albany, Georgia, Rashad Green, 56 yards on a third and 28. That's exactly what the freshman Green did for Trickett. Wait till you see the safety, Javon Harris. With the Sooners on the field. Hit on the release. But he still gets it off for a first and ten, and he finds Ryan Broyles. He finds his man breaking free, and he earned it that time. 22 yards, pump fake by Jones. Going to go deep down the far side. Got a man open in the end zone. Stills grabs a touchdown. Kenny Stills, what a pair of hands. To secure it and bring it down for a touchdown. For Stills, including that unbelievable grab in the first half. Stevens splits the uprights. Blitz. Target down at the 33 yard line. Has time. Deflected. And a diving interception at the 46 yard line is Javon Harris. Whaley is the Oklahoma running back. Found daylight for a first down. To the 38-yard line, Harris makes the stop. Won't get there. Wow. Wow, it was low, but it goes across from 31 yards. And E.J. Manuel, the old starting quarterback, also driven out of the game. And now Trickett goes down at the 10-yard line. Jefferson was in there. I think they convinced a whole lot of people tonight that the defense, their defense is for real. You get ready to play them, you get, you get ready to take some licks from these fellas. Trickett got a lot of time. Fires high, and this one is dropped. From the end zone, incomplete. Oklahoma takes over, and the Sooners will leave Tallahassee with their second win of the season. So, the favorite formation of any offense, the victory formation. Impressive. Number one team on a road, tough environment, early in the season, only second game of the year. I think you're right. I think they, they, they definitely made a statement and justified that number one ranking. Yeah, no question.